Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to walk you through about the AC204 developing solutions for Microsoft Azure certification and we will cover how to prepare for this, how this exam is going to be helpful for a developer and the career growth as well as how you can clear this exam with 50% discount. Come without delay, let's get started. So in my GitHub repository, I have created a repository named exactly for AZ204 developing solution for Microsoft Azure. So basically this is as of January 22, 2024, which means they have updated all of the details here. So I have listed down here, like everything of the certification. And I've also mentioned that every single topic of this exam will have a video and its repository for the preparation of the exam and post it in my two channels. Whichever channels you prefer, you can go ahead and check, but everything will be covered. Now, this is basically a developer certification. So there are a lot of Azure certification, starting from fundamentals of Azure and then followed by for developers, for architects, for data engineers, and so many certifications, okay? If you're not clear on what certification you have to take, um, this is one of the good certification that you can take for a developer perspective. So this one has a lot of Azure concepts covered, and that's why this is called Developing Solution for Microsoft Azure, and primarily meant for Azure.NET developers, not only .NET developers, but you know, the Java or any other developers can also use this, but the primary focus of most of the concepts will be uh, easy for uh, the existing .NET developers. Let me go through this, right? So there are exam skills at a glance. So there are five, six parts of exam. So I, let's take a look at the uh, six type of uh, skills that is at this exam. So each ex each topic, right? Each section has its coverage. So this is the 25 to 30 percent coverage, which is develop Azure Compute Solution, followed by the storage concept, integrity, Azure security concepts, and then you know optimizing the Azure solution, and then third party implementation. So each one has its own percentage of coverage, which means out of um, n number of questions, you know, I mean uh, the the total score is thousand. You will be evaluated for thousand. 700 is the passing score, which means the number of questions that will eventually cover for those 1000 marks, the portion of 25 to 30 percentage, if it is 1000, at least 300 marks will cover from only this topic. Similarly, all of these things. So altogether, it's a combination. Uh, you will be covered with those many questions. Okay. And then uh, instead of going through one by one very boringly, but if I if I just tell you at high level, so if you look at the compute solution, they will have the containerization uh, examples, web servers examples, functions, and then storage, Cosmos DB and the blob storage, security wise, authentication authorization, and how you can use a secure implementation, and then it's all about the troubleshooting and monitorization. And then the next one is all about troubleshooting and a new solution for monitors. So all of those things and then caching, the dash. The next one is uh, as consume Azure services and third party services uh, that will cover the API management, uh, even based solution and message based solutions. Okay, which is nothing but even grid, even hub and message server, Azure service bus and Azure queue storage. So all of these things, right? So now let me tell you this, right? If you go Google and search, you will probably end up here for the exam. So this exam also tells about the same thing. They might also give you a lot of practice types and then you can actually go through and watch some study guide. Study guide is what we saw. Some preparation videos and sandbox, all of those things, right? And then the exam cost is 165. So I'll tell you some tips for $165 you can completely reduce this to 50%, okay? Which means roughly $82. How do you reduce this? There's something called challenge. I'll show you that shortly. But if you complete the challenge in 30 days of what they are telling, then you will have a discount of 50%, which means roughly 62% is what you will end up paying. And the beauty is there are two challenges that they will allow you to take. I mean, you can take a number of challenges, but for a given year, Two times Microsoft will give you two discounts 
for two different certifications. So the span of a certification is at least six months, but you can speed up and finish it uh, faster than that if you are already familiar with a little bit of Azure and the .NET. But uh, typically that is what Microsoft will think. Okay, six months is what a certification preparation. So they will give you every six months, like you know, twice a year based on when you finish. It doesn't matter year starts or end. You start today, next six months you'll get it. And after that, another six months later you'll get it. Now, if I log in to learn.microsoft.com, just log in with your uh, Microsoft login, you'll end up seeing this. So the challenge that I'm talking is here. So here's my activity training, you know, challenge. So actually you can sign up for a particular challenge for a particular exam. I will show you that challenging sign up and all later stage. But when you do that, you will be eventually getting the benefit of that and you can succeed it. Now let me show you how I succeeded. All right. If you look at this, I logged in with my another profile. So I have a lot of batches, trophy, reputation points is basically I'm helping others and you know, I don't actively do by logging in, but you look at here. I have already cleared the certification. Okay. And then it's expiring. I completed the certification during this time and I, and I applied for a renewal assessment during this year and I completed that as well. Now it means to con almost one of years, I completed the same certification twice, but only for the first time I, I need to pay. All right. Now, this is due for my renewal, which means the reason why it is due because every one year the certification is valid. What happens is they update certain things for a given certification based on how, uh, you know, latest things are coming up. That's why they will reevaluate, reassess your knowledge. But for me, there is a timeline of April. I need to redo this assessment. Renewal is comparatively easy than the real exam. Real exam is going to be tough, but don't worry. I'll guide you. I'll give you enough materials for you to clear, but Renewal will be like comparatively easy. Trust me, you can you can clear it. So one time hard work, finish the certification, you will learn all of these things. And this is one of the career boost for you uh, transitioning from uh, .NET developer to Microsoft Azure .NET developer, right? A lot of .NET stuff was involved in Azure services. It will be easy these days. Companies are towards the cloud and you know you should be knowing at least one of the three major players aws google and the azure azure is one of the favorite for me so that's why i decided to uh, go through this video today now as i said every single topic here will be covered in depth whichever is required for you exam to cover and then i will also point out its respective link for your preparation repository for practicing and uh, also the video link and if you do not have Azure subscription, it's okay. It's easy. You sign up and then get the $200 free. If you say you have already signed up, you lost the $200. It's absolutely free. One or two things alone is costing good. That alone you can use the sandbox. Rest of every single thing is free with what you already have it. And that's what I'm going to go through, right? So this one. It's been a couple of years I signed up. So now I'm going to use everything free except a couple of things. That couple of things you can still use the sandbox to create it. I will show you that as well as we progress. And uh, this video will be very helpful for you to clear the certification. So without delay, I think you know about all of these things now. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Let's meet in the next video starting the web series. Starting the web app development. Okay. All right, thank you. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Happy coding.